So definitely nice, 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 nice fight. And again, it's staying down, so I would expect it might be actually again Mr. Ras. It's a lovely morning, a little bit overcast. Uh, I guess we can expect a little bit of rain. The plan is kind of simple. I'm going to do a little bit of LRF, so uh, basically light tackle fishing, light rock fishing, just for the pollock, maybe brass, maybe mackerel if they're around. The gear I'm going to explain a little bit later in the video. The tide is coming in, so the, now it's low tide and the water is going to be slowly raising up. Uh, in about two, three hours, it's going to slow down. That's kind of where I'm going to switch into my diving gear and just to do a little bit of diving, uh, maybe spear fishing, but <laughs> I'm definitely far from the best spear fisherman because I ca I'm kind of like, ah, I, I just don't want to shoot that fish. I'd rather catch and release, and <laughs> which it's not very possible with the spear fishing. So oftentimes I just check them out, uh, play with them, and stuff like that. So anyway if uh, if i'm going to be catching plenty of fish or if there is going to be something interesting i will put it in if not more than likely you wouldn't be seeing this video so first few casts in the in the new spot i'm going to be just using kind of the metal uh just to scout the area around just to see if there is actually any small fish or anything around the water is super low we usually fish this spot when it's way way higher so might be able to get to the spots which I usually don't and this is the first time with this with this combination with this rod and even the reel the line everything is pretty much like brand new so we'll see what we're going to catch I think I got first hit at this time of the year uh, we should be able to get basically the pollock after pollock Initially just casting all of the direction uh, Just to see uh, Just to find the fish if there are any exactly here because the tide is still quite low So I may, I may need to wait for a few moments I think we might have a first first fish <laughs> Which is possibly the smallest thing I ever caught because it's even light on this this kind of gear This is just crazy uh, so the Pollock, which is size of, I'll just give you... <laughs> so that's possibly the smallest fish ever. But that's also the reason why I brought this gear. Uh, just to be able to kind of have fun and... Like, on this kind of gear, I guess you always catch something. And first, bigger fish. I don't, I don't think it's very big, but... Uh, anyway, on this rod it's going to be quite a lot of fun to play with this fish. So nice small pollock. Hopefully it's going to send a grandma or at least a mom. Another small beautiful pollock. <coughs> <clears throat> so he's going to for lovely swim beautiful colors yeah so uh, there is a little bit of reef just ahead of us and it seems uh, all of the fish are to the left because as soon as I cast there I just get plenty of hits pretty much straight away so I might just have some fun with some pollock I just got nice hit very close by it seems it is a little bit bigger fish too <laughs> whatever it is And it's my favorite species. <laughs> so whoever said 
uh, you need a big rough gear on the rust uh, well if they are I guess in the if you are pulling them from the weeds definitely but that's a, like an aquarium fish it's a beautiful fish we'll let it swim lovely to see And this was definitely bigger fish, uh, but it got me into snack. So usually the strategy when it is in the snack, you just you just let the line loose and kind of let it swim out. The lure back, but unfortunately the fish unhooked itself, which is no harm. At least it's not stuck somewhere with the lure. I will cast there a few more times and we'll see if it's going to take again. And self-released. I have pretty limited time for fishing so I might try what I might try is basically just this uh, I have one more paddle tail but what I want to do is just use basically this lure which is like a small uh, six gram jig head Aliexpress special uh, lure uh, which like has amazing profile and everything so hopefully some bigger ish pollock we like it and we might just use a little bit of extra sand which is like a mackerel so usually on the metal you get plenty of uh, plenty of small fish like it's not 100 percent rule but usually you get plenty of small fish and if you switch to the like the soft plastic it might help to kind of filter out the bigger ones so we'll see if if that's going to be the case So we took a few casts to get some fish, but it seems uh, straight away it's a little bit bigger fish. Might not be massive or anything, but uh, it's it's staying deep. I'm not able to pull it out. The bend of the rod is also pretty nice, and it's also taking a little bit of drag, which is what it's all about. So definitely nice 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 fight and I'm wow okay so <laughs> that's the reason for the for the better fight Mr. Russ decided to say hello and again like uh, it's beautiful beautiful fish just hook nicely in the corner so that's the that's the lure And that's the rust. So again, straight away bigger fish. I don't know what what that's going to be, but again, when you see the bend of the rod, and again, it's staying down. So I would expect it might be actually again, Mr. Rust.
Yeah, so beautiful, <laughs> beautiful green, green rust. The line is only a few pounds, so what I'll try to do is just actually bring him over here. Yeah, so this is what I mean, like generally, I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't usually have issues. Uh, he's, he's got deeper. So generally, I don't have issues with pulling. Uh, he spiked me actually quite well. So that's the fish. So rather than actually drama with uh, pulling that fish out, uh, there is a little bit of drama with unhooking. Mm. Russ, they have crazy spikes, so he managed to get me on with on one with one of those. But again, like it shouldn't. Uh, it's not a biggie. It's super light gear. Like I believe ten. 10 pound line, a little bit stronger leader and super light rod and uh, like there is no reason to use like a super super heavy gear on the rust. Especially if you like to play with them a little bit and just kind of enjoy pulling the fish out rather than just horsing it and just oh next one, next one. So end of the run, a real lure and uh, let's try again. So, so far quite a little fun. I had maybe like three or four brass and I don't know, possibly around 15 up to 20 pollock. Uh, the biggest one was, it wasn't, it was like 20, 25 centimeters. Uh, a lot of fun on the, on the light tackle. So what I'm using is basically uh, Shimano Naski, high gear, shallow spool, so supplied re real, it's like 180 grams. And then it's, the rod is Bluebird, uh, 7.6 feet or 2.2 meters and 1 to 7 grams braid is like uh, 0.1 millimeters J braid from Daiva uh, super durable kind of abrasion resistance great but super tiny tiny diameter so I, I'm able to cast quite far so far I managed to play all of the fish well except maybe one uh, which it was possibly bigger pollock or a smaller rust which got me into the into the weeds but which got me into the weeds, but uh, I just let the line loose. It got unhooked and I was able to pull the lure out, absolutely no problem. So, so far I haven't lost actually a single lure and pretty much was able to pull all of the fish. Most of them were kind of smaller, medium to smaller size. Uh, one rust was definitely quite bigger, which managed to spike me a little bit into the, into the arm. But uh, yeah, so far so good, having a lot of, lot of fun. I, kind of having a feeling that I would rather be fishing rather than diving but we'll see I will play it by ear if I'm having too much fun with fishing I might just skip the diving altogether if not I will just go for quick uh, quick spin diving maybe for an hour or so so uh, in a few casts I didn't find any fish on this spot so I'm moving to the next one sometimes they say uh, don't kind of move uh, if you if you have fish basically enjoy fishing uh, don't move but Often I like to explore or do some kind of less logical things, so we're just going to move to the other spot uh, and then possibly start uh, making our way back for a dive. I might spend there maybe like 30-45 minutes depending on the fishing. So this is the last rock mark I wanted to explore today. Again, beautiful water, it's kind of... There's a little bit of current going around it, so you kind of never know, there might be a little bit of chance to to catch some mackerel or some bigger pollock. I will start with the metal lure again, just to kind of scout the area and then switch to maybe soft plastic or something, depending on what we catch or we don't catch. Nice long cast. The wind is kind of blowing from the right, just across, kind of into the back. So it's kind of blowing um, across the bay. So it's, especially with the light gear, it's a good idea to position yourself that you are casting kind of with the wind, not against the wind. Uh, it's also going to help you to avoid any kind of tangles, wind knots, uh, stuff like that. So it seems we, we got first fish as I was pulling it out. And possibly self-release, <laughs> the wave is going to just take it. 